So in front of you is a delicious dish. That dish is the same for every single one of you. It's come out of this pot here. We're gonna give you three minutes to taste and identify as many ingredients possible. Then we're gonna give you two minutes to write down all of those ingredients that you remember. I feel like I've got a good palate and like, it'll be easy. There'll be at least half a dozen you'll be able to see straight off the bat, regardless of what it is. There are 23 ingredients in this classic dish that we've set before you. If you identify all 23 correctly, you'll be safe. You'll probably get a reputation of being some sort of tasting freak. But that's going to be a um, particularly difficult task today. Because this is a blind oh. taste test. It suddenly becomes a lot harder. I suddenly realise that this is going to be quite the challenge. You have three minutes to taste and feel and identify as many ingredients as you can, and then two minutes to write them down. We're going to lift those cloches now. Off you go. I'm nervous. Um, I just get my hands right into it. I need to start tasting things. I need to get things into my mouth as quickly as possible. She's feeling it, just deciding what it is and then putting it in her mouth. And then... oh, she'll find the herbs that way, which is great. I don't like hot chilies because I can't handle the heat. That's the first thing that I get after the first mouthful. I get jalapeno. <laughs> Tasted a prawn. Tasted chicken. There's okra in there. It's soupy. This is gumbo. <laughs> Sean was basically in his food. He had his face almost in it. It was kind of gross to watch. It was, but I found it for some reason really funny. <laughs> it tastes great. I'm feeling quite confident at this stage. You know, I've found there's definitely prawn, there's definitely tomato, and there's definitely parsley. I could make a dish with that. I have no idea what the dish is, and I'm really worried that I'm not going to get enough ingredients that I could work with. It's just hand, mouth, hand, mouth, hand, mouth in this situation. 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. That's it. Sit up, hands down. Time's up. I just need to start writing. I know I get really distracted really easily. I just need to get the things down as quickly as possible. Otherwise, I'm going to forget. You have two minutes to write down as many ingredients as you can. Blindfolds off, start writing. I honestly felt like I was in an exam at school. I knew the answers. I was just so bad at concentrating on putting them down. I'm feeling really stressed and my mind just blanks. I can't even think of anything to guess. So I'm definitely scared that I'm not going to have any ingredients to work with today. Three, two, one. Pens down, close your books. Who reckons they know what this dish is? Colin? I think it's gumbo. Absolutely. Louisiana gumbo, <laughs> the classic of the American South. The next ingredient everybody got right too, which was? Salt. Next one? Prawns. Prawns? Tick. I didn't put that down. <laughs> so, Georgia, what happened there? I just, maybe I missed it in the bowl, or maybe I ate it and just didn't taste it, but yeah. Next one. Onions. Thyme. Tomatoes. Chicken. I got chicken. Huge relief for me. I should be OK. Spring onions. Next ingredient is oil. Sean, Tash, you're the only two people that have oil to cook with. 
It's really going to be a challenge cooking without oil today. I need to come up with another way to get oil into my dish. And the final ingredient, Tabasco. I am kicking myself that I didn't get chicken, bacon. I, I know I'm at the bottom end. Remember, every ingredient you guess correctly, you'll be able to cook with in the second round. So, Amy, you got 15 correct. <laughs> Rachel, Georgia, you got 11 ingredients correct. I'm quite happy that I chose 11 ingredients because I was a bit worried about the whole taste test thing, so maybe today I'm going to be safe. Colin, you got 10 ingredients right. Brent, nine ingredients. And Sam, I'm sorry to say you got the least on seven. But I'm really worried about what's under the cloche. You started off in this competition knowing that one of our MasterChef mantras was all about taste. So we're going to kick off with a taste test. We haven't had a taste test since top 50, and I was hopeless at it. You'll come forward one at a time, and you'll have two minutes to taste this dish. And then you'll have another minute to write down as many ingredients as you believe are in that dish. The ingredients that you get right will be the only ones that you can cook with later on. I think I have a very good palate, so I'm kind of deep down happy that it is a taste test. You'll be doing it blindfolded. <laughs> they can't be serious. This is ridiculous. Let's get this blind tasting underway. Michael, you're first. Step up. You gentlemen have to turn round now. When the cosh is revealed and I start trying to smell and I, I can smell something savoury. I can taste some pork. There, there's some bacon around it or some kind of cured meat. Prosciutto, I think. Oh. Bite into a carrot and I know it's a carrot. This is weird. Michael, that's two minutes up. <laughs> You've now got one minute to write those down. You ready? Yep. Go. I think I've got a, a fair share of everything. I'm just hoping I can translate that onto the paper and get some stuff right. No time to waste, Michael. No time to waste. Three, two, one. That's it, Michael. Round now. Wow. <laughs> One down, three to go. OK, Peter, up you come. One blindfold, please. I, I can hear Gary plating up. And it's interesting, when you have your sight taken away, how acute your other senses become. It has a loaf shape, and uh, it's quite sticky. I identify chicken, and I think there's probably pork. Three, two, one. There you go. I was in the top 50 taste and cook, and I know that there's no wrong answers. I've got to get a protein. And so the first few things I write down is like beef, veal, chicken, <laughs> pork, every kind of animal that I can think of, because one of them's got to be right. Three, two, one. Well, guess what? When I start touching the dish, I know instantly it's a terrain. And then all I have to do is start breaking the parts and try to figure out as many ingredients inside as possible. There's so many textures, like firm, soft, crunchy. But you've got 30 seconds left. I got a few ingredients in my head. Time's up, hands off the plate. Tasting and knowing the ingredients is one thing, and also remembering and then start writing down within a minute is totally another challenge. Billy, time's up. I touch the food on the plate, and immediately I sense it is cold. I think it's going to be a dessert of sorts because it's a cold plate. I feel something really soft and squidgy, and I taste it, and it turns out to be apple. So, um, again, I think it's something to do with a dessert. Kumar, that's a minute already. You need to put a hustle on if you're going to taste everything and identify everything you need. 
I start tasting it and it tastes savory and it throws me completely. I can't bring something cold and savory together. I guess being blindfolded has frozen part of my brain. Everything comes to a standstill, my mind goes blank. Come on, five seconds. That's it, time's up. <laughs> Tough. You have one minute to write down as many ingredients as you can remember. When the blindfold's taken off, there are things that I can remember. But something's happened to my brain. I just can't put names to ingredients. I'm really unhappy. I know I've bombed. Sorry, my mind's gone blank. Kumar, your time's up. It should have been easy. I honestly don't know what went wrong. The dish that you were tasting was a terrine. And it was served with an apple relish. I could kick myself. I am very familiar with the terrine. I've made terrines. Under these 24 cloches are the ingredients that went towards making that terrine. Some of you did very well, others didn't. <laughs> so let's find out what the first of these ingredients are. This is something that you all guessed correctly. Apple. You also all got time. Three of you got this ingredient right. Prosciutto. I was holding the piece of prosciutto. I was feeling it. I tasted it. Just could not identify it. Shallots. Parsley. I wrote parsley down, but that was a guess. Pork. I was really pleased that I managed to get that right, a protein. Two of you got this one, and it is chicken. Oh. I wish I had chicken. Garlic. It's French food, it's got to have garlic in it. Carrots. Yep, I got a carrots. Fantastic. Now, the next ingredient, only one person identified correctly. Vinegar. A lucky guess on the vinegar. Um, I was just hoping it was in that chutney. Broad beans. Pistachios. As soon as I bit into that pistachio, I knew. Again, another great ingredient to have for my dish. Only one person got this ingredient, cabbage. Our 15th ingredient, only one person got stock. I got stock. It's a good basic. It gets an extra dimension to any dish. Of these last nine, not one of you got any of them. Chicken livers, baby leeks, duck fat, brandy. Cardamom. Oh, no one's going to get that. Celery. I saw Kumar biting into one of these. It was a butter bean. I bit it. I was chewing it. I couldn't put a name to it. I'm so upset with myself. Billy, you wrote down a number of herbs as your time was running out. The one you didn't write down is tarragon. <laughs> the final ingredient binding it all together, gelatin. The person who scored the highest number, getting an impressive 11 ingredients correct, is Michael. Billy, you got seven ingredients right. Peter, you got eight. Kumar, I could see you during that reveal kicking yourself. How many do you think you've got? Three or four at the most. Kumar, you're right. You got four ingredients. But We've seen before, it's not impossible. Sometimes the simplest dishes are the great dishes. Each of you will get an identical dish. It's my version of a classic. Your job is to identify as many ingredients in that dish as possible. Right, you'll have three minutes to taste and memorise as many ingredients as possible. You're then going to get a further two minutes to write down as many of those ingredients that you can remember. But there's one last thing. You'll be wearing blindfolds. It's a blind taste test, yeah? You have three minutes. 
and your time starts now. First thing that I'm touching feels ridiculously weird. What is that? I'm freaking out. I don't even know if this is food. There's lots of ingredients, 29 of them. Dig in and find stuff. I'm feeling the, the ingredients and it seems like they're quite separate, so I'm trying to taste them individually so I don't get the flavours confused. I pick up a squishy brown thing. I taste, and it tastes like egg yolk, so I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with that. Oh. <laughs> Can we have water? As soon as I taste kimchi, I know we're in Korea. And I'm not great with Korean food, so... Uh. I'm feeling really lucky because I think I'm blind tasting my favourite dish. <laughs> I can taste garlic, I can taste ginger, I can definitely taste gochujang paste. I think this is a bibimbap. Come on, guys, time's ticking. Who's going to get them all? John, you're going to get them all? Come on. All right, 10 seconds. Nine, eight, eight seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time's up, hands out of the bowl. Time's up and I still have no idea what it is that I just ate. So I just need to write down as many things as I can remember. The more ingredients I've got to play with, then the easier it's got to be to make something. You'll see there's a pen and pad. You've got two minutes. Time starts now. Time starts and I just write like mad. I'm abbreviating, I'm not spelling correctly, I'm just like... Time's ticking. I write all the ingredients that I think in that dish but I'm also doing something really smart and writing down oil, salt, pepper, vinegar. They're key flavour ingredients, and I know that if I get them, I can make anything taste good. I'm starting to panic. One minute to go. I'm struggling to write anything down. Time's running out, and I'm worried. My mind's just gone blank. Come on, write! Come on. Write! Last few things. Oh, I've just forgotten all the ingredients in there. Go on, Johnny. 10 seconds to go. This is my favourite dish. I should know all the ingredients, but my mind's just gone blank. Five, four. I'm worried three, I won't have enough ingredients for the two, next round. One, hands down. We love a blind tasting. So, anybody got any idea what that dish was? Yep. What was it? It's a bibimbap. Ooh. I love it. Well done, John. That dish is one of my favourite dishes in the world, but I'm just feeling really, really nervous. I don't even know what I've written down. Hopefully, I've got enough to, to create a dish. We were delighted to see that there were several ingredients that all of you got right. Shiitake mushroom. Another one you all got right, you should have done two, was rice. The last one you all got right is, and it was front and centre, egg. Koreans absolutely love this. Four of you got it right. Garlic. Four of you got sesame seeds. Only three of you got lava. We also accepted nori. So I wonder who missed this one. Beef. Beef is the key ingredient in this bibimbap, and I didn't pick it. I'm really starting to panic now. What else have I missed? Cucumber. Carrot. I'm terrified I won't have enough ingredients for the next round. Daikon. Peanut oil. Sugar. So many of these flavours going on, you could have easily missed this one. Salt. John, you didn't get that. I'm kicking myself. I didn't write down salt. One of the cornerstones of Korean cooking, kimchi. Kimchi is a traditional Korean side dish made of fermented cabbage. It has a real spicy, sour flavour to it. Ginger. Bean sprouts. Soy sauce. Gochujang chilli paste. Spinach. Zucchini. Well done, Sarah. It was a good pick, actually. 
Georgia, you got this right. Apple cider vinegar. Ooh. Nobody got pickled daikon. Dried anchovies. Garlic chives. Ah, garlic chives. Damn it. And chestnuts. Oh. And we would have been absolutely stunned if you got this one right. It was bracken or fern. A lot of wild and foraged ingredients in Korean food. And finally, anyone? Fish sauce. Ah. Ah. <laughs> this is a total nightmare. I should have gotten all those ingredients. I just hope I've got enough to keep me in the competition. One of you got 16 ingredients. It's really impressive. Sarah, congratulations. Wow, really? Good work. Yeah. Cool. Good job, mate. <laughs> Thanks. Georgia, you also did really well. 15 correct cool. answers. Thank you. Matthew, your palate's obviously pretty good. 13 right. And Rose, you've got 11 ingredients right. John, you were the least impressive taster. You only correctly identified 10 ingredients. Yeah, I think I just went blank. Um, when I was writing it down, it was, yeah. I'm really disappointed that I've only managed to pick out 10 ingredients from that dish. It's going to be a tough cook today. Today, it's all about movie food. Ooh. Behind us are 37 different popcorn flavours. Oh, All you have oh. to do is correctly identify them. But be warned, because they start off pretty easy, and the further you progress, the more difficult they become. I didn't even realise there was that many flavours, man. Yeah, not a lot. 37. Right. <laughs> Step right up. Stepping up. Go around this area, because unlike other Taste test challenges. Oh, okay. You don't get to pick. Cool, I like that. Like that. One, <laughs> 37. I like that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I love this. My strategy for this one is smell the popcorn and try and discern it before I make any decisions. You can go as hard as you want. You can hold it. Do you want to hold it? Yeah, sure. Like, just act like oh, you're in the yeah. cinema. I'm so happy with Andy's first pick. I know exactly what this is, but I'm going to taste it just to make sure. What do you reckon? See, it smells amazing. Dark chocolate. Correct. Oh. Well done. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Woo. I have a moderately refined palate, so I think I should be OK. But I'm feeling a bit anxious because it is popcorn, and these things are designed to trip you up. <laughs> Every time. I'll pick it up. Every time. Oh, thank you. It's really hard to work out the flavour of something when it's disguised as something else. So I have to rely on my palate. The bucket melt gives me, looks like a toffee-coloured popcorn. It smells a bit sugary and it tastes sweet. I'm absolutely sure I know what this is. Shall I have one with you? Mm. Do you know what it is? Mm -hmm. It's ca caramel. You are correct, it's caramel! Go for it. Okay. I so badly want to get this right. Yeah. That's a good one. Really? <laughs> Do you know what it is? Peanut butter. Correct. Well done. Okay, good. Thank God. I got that right. <laughs> I'm sure you'll pick up what it's that is. One of my favourites. Vinegar. Yep. <laughs> is it vinegar? It is vinegar. I'm going to take a couple more. Yeah. I wish there could be a, a Napoletana popcorn or a carbonara or cacio e pepe popcorn, and then this challenge will be easy. Oh. I can't smell any strong flavor coming out of it. Like, it can be anything. I can see that it's similar to caramel color-wise, and it's sweet. But caramel has been already guessed. My second thought goes to toffee. It is similar to caramel, but I'm not confident with my answer. Toffee? Aldo? That's incorrect. 
The answer was honey. Oh. Chili. Correct. Well done. He's got an incredible palate, this bloke, man. Oh. Ah, there it is. What do you got? Pistachio. There you go. Well done. Daniel. What is that? <laughs> that yeah, looks you... like it's mouldy. <laughs> <laughs> it's this new flavour we've got it's going on. It's a new flavour we've been working on. You know what that oh, is. Oh, yeah. Rosemary? It is rosemary. Burn the big man, oh, Daniel. Oh, this looks like it's a tough one. Really? Yeah. It's red. Oh, baby. Come on. This is so bright red, and I just have no idea. I mean, there's so many things that it could be. Like it's like red, yeah. Yeah. Tasting sweet, quite tart. So I'm thinking maybe it's a berry, but I can't figure out which one. What is that? Strawberry. Correct. <laughs> Come on. What was that? Strawberry. Is there such a thing? That's a fun face. <laughs> is it broccoli? Unfortunately, Mindy, it is yeah. not. It's mint. Is it? Yeah. It was really hard. I didn't get that I'm one. Lucky, Mindy. Yeah. Didn't get okay. it. Honey as yeah, well. didn't get it at all. Righto, I reckon they get a little bit harder now. Montana, number sixteen. Hmm, another red one. Another red one. This is an interesting one. It's bright red, and just based on the looks and smell, I'm thinking maybe like paprika or something. I can't really figure it out. I'm really scared with this one. I mean, the first two, I was pretty certain on what they were just by smelling them. Not so simple, this one, huh? If I get this one wrong, I don't have a chance to cook for that immunity spot. But this flavour comes through. Is it tomato? Yeah, it's tomato. Oh, wow. oh man. <laughs> wow. Wow. Well done, Lord. Well done, Lord. It's just getting harder and harder. I'm tasting this, and it's got such a bitter note to it, but yet there's this lingering sort of citrus feel. So I know it's a citrus type of fruit, but I'm not sure. Galvin, you're going deep. Yeah, you're going yeah. deep in the pop. Deep in the yeah. popcorn. Is this a tricky one? I'm, I'm licking each popcorn, trying to taste it. I'm thinking, oh, it tastes very much, like, very reminiscent of grapefruit. But then it has an orange tinge. What is it? Oh, I'm not sure about this one. Describe what's going on. Break it down. It's kind of citrusy and bitter as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go with grapefruit. Mm -hmm. So I did it. Alvin, I'm sorry, it's orange. Yeah. Oh, 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 unlucky, Alvin. It's orange. I got it wrong and I cannot... Why did I say grapefruit? It's orange. The colour's orange, you fool. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Team. Reese, you might remember this one. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that one really well. <laughs> and, um... What happened that day? I was eliminated from the cube challenge, so... <laughs> <laughs> what a day to be on the gantry then. I know for a fact that this cube challenge is really hard. In my season, I managed to get four guesses right, but it's really easy to make a mistake. We'll take it in turns to taste and name one of these one-inch cubes. And you'll be tasting... Blindfolded. Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh god. Are you ready? Yeah. Callum, you're gonna get the first cube. 
I grabbed that first cube. It's hard, it doesn't smell like much. As soon as you think you know, tell me. As soon as I crunch into it, that distinctive taste and texture. Carrot. Carrot. That's correct, well done, Callum. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I get my cube and right away I notice it's very sticky and pasty and it's highly perfumed. It's got a very strong tropical flavour. I really hope that's banana. <laughs> Was that banana? Mm. You are correct. That is so strange. Tasting this ingredient, um, it's really, really strange. It's like a cube that tastes like celery. But it's not the consistency of celery. It's more dense and starchy. It's not as watery. It's, there's no stringiness. Celeriac. Celeriac, yeah. Is incorrect. The answer is celery. Oh, OK. Sorry, Tessa, that means you are in round two. Is that the core? Two. Yes, it's oh. the heart. Zucchini. I'm sorry, mate, it's a courgette. I'm just joking. <laughs> oh. oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God. Oh, Far out. Rock on. Oh, he's good. <laughs> Cucumber. Correct. I get my cube and I'm feeling it. It's another meat. <laughs> Put it in my mouth, but there's no saltiness. It's pretty dry. Smoky. Maybe ham, but ham has a different texture to it and salty because ham is cured. Um, so got you stumped. Yeah. This is a gamble. Um, turkey. Turkey is incorrect. Yeah, I'm sorry. sorry. The answer is ham, which puts you in round two, my friend. Let's go. I definitely know this is citrus, but I'm trying to think of citrus fruits that have been cold out already. My mind is playing tricks on me. I'm overthinking it. Oh, Pamelo. It's incorrect, yep. I'm afraid. Okay. The answer is lime. The 10 hardest cubes start now. Oh, God. Um, I don't know. It's, I, I feel really unsure about this one. It's something tropical. <sighs> Might be a, um, a star fruit. Correct. There's a star fruit. That is crazy! Ah! I'm actually wondering if we're going to go all the way to the end. We're acing this. Parsnip. Parsnip? Yeah. It's correct. Oh, I think it's a fajoa. But let me just taste it. Do you want to eat it first? Uh -huh. Wow. Fajoa is in the guava family. I absolutely love the stuff. You didn't even taste it and you got it. Well God. done. Yeah. Holy crap, though. What is happening? <laughs> I take the cube off the plate, smell it, and I don't smell anything, and I finally taste it, and it's kind of just crunchy and watery. I am trying to get something together in my mind, and I'm really struggling. Is it daikon? Close, but incorrect. It's kohlrabi. Oh. Damn it. You are all incredible. <laughs> I, 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 I'm speechless. So yeah. I cannot believe you got this far <laughs> down. Only two left. Mm.